You might have seen this term called sanctions on the news lately, but what exactly are economic sanctions? Let's explain. Sanctions are penalties or punishments imposed on a country to create economic pressure within that target country. In the case of Russia, Biden and other allies announced this long list of sanctions today, which included limiting Russia's ability to do business in dollars, pounds, euros, and yen, and also cutting off their largest bank from the U.S. financial system. Basically, the U.S. is saying, hey, we're not going to do business with Russia at all, and Russia is going to be severely impacted by this because of how interconnected we are in the global economy. Now, sanctions are used to disincentivize other countries' behaviors, in this case, Russia, from escalating the war in Ukraine. An unfortunate cost of sanctions is that oftentimes the targeted country's citizens will suffer as a result. You can see this already impacted in the Russian ruble to United States dollar, which has lost at least 10% of its value against the dollar virtually overnight. Sanctions in general are not good for anybody, but if they can decrease the chances of an escalated all-out war, then that's the purpose that they serve.